Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve coin word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this word problem here. Jesse has $3.02 worth of pennies and nickels in his piggy bank. The number of nickels is three more than eight times the number of pennies. How many nickels and how many pennies does Jesse have? Well, let's go break down what we know. A worth of a penny, all right, pennies are worth well, one cent, right? What about nickels? Nickels are worth five cents, and hopefully you know that, okay? So let's let P equal the number of pennies here. All right, so if P is the number of pennies, the number of nickels, and we'll say N is the number of nickels, we want to find the total number cost. It's going to be really P times 0 0.01, all right, number of pennies times the cost of each penny, plus, oh, I'm running out of space here, I'm going to pick the best space for that. Let's do it down here. So P times 0 0.01, right, the uh, value of each penny, plus N, number of nickels, times the value of each nickel, 0 0.05, should equal our total amount that Jesse has, $3 and two cents. But they give us another clue here. They say that right here, the number of nickels is three more than eight times the number of pennies. So the number of nickels, N, is equal to eight, uh, three more than eight times the number of pennies. So eight P, eight times the number of pennies, and we got three more than that. So we can apply this right here in for that N. So let's go put the coefficient out front, 0 0.01p times p, plus, instead of n, we had as 8p plus 3, I'll put the 0 0.5, or 0 0.05 out front, then I have my 8p, that's what the n is, plus 3, and that's equal to 3.02. Now, we have one variable, p, an equation we can solve for that. So we got to multiply some things out. Let's leave the 0 0.01p out here. Let's multiply that 0 0.05. 0 0.05 times 8 is a 0 0.4, whoops, o, p, and 0 0.05 times 3 is 0 0.15, 15 cents. Well, we want to combine our like terms here, 0.01p and 0.40p is point for 1p, and we get to subtract a 15 to both sides right here. So if I subtract a 0 0.15 to both sides, 15 cents to both sides, we get a $2.87. Divide both sides now by 0 0.41, and we should get the number of pennies by itself, and 287 divided by 0 0.41 is 7. So we have 7 pennies so far. But now we have to find the number of nickels. So we can take our original statement here. We found the n number of nickels is equal to 8p plus 3, and we're going to take that 7 we found for the number of pennies in right there. 8 times a 7 plus 3 here, and 8 times 7 plus 3 gives us a 59. 59 nickels. And so there we have it. We found that in Jesse's pocket, he has seven pennies and 59 nickels. I hope this video was helpful for you and you learned how to solve a coin word problem. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.